What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of The Quantum Corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will link you into our giveaway, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, so make sure and watch all the way through. What's up, guys? Okay, so for today's video, I'm just doing something a little freestyle. I didn't end up doing a pull list this week. I've been going through configuring stuff on the channel. I really want to get things a little tighter, a little more organized, and have variations of shows that I do consistently, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and all that. I want to have some live streams. So I'm really trying to put the channel together, more organized, and, and give you guys more consistent content. So if things seem a little hairy for now, that's why. But anyways, for today, since I missed the pull list this week, I'm going to do kind of a pull list slash geeky haul. And then just talk about a few things. And I'm just really just kind of kind of run with it today. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the channel and stuff. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the content I'm giving you. And if you're not, I really would appreciate your feedback. Telling me why, what things you don't like, what you would like to see more of, what you would like to see less of. Because it helps me as a creator really try to find the things that connect with everybody out there. Because you guys are fans like me, and I want to connect. That's the, sole, that's the main reason that I started this channel. Obviously, I want to grow, and I would love to get to a place sometime to be a professional YouTuber where I could do this full-time and push videos out every day of the highest quality. So that takes building up an audience, and that's what I'm trying to do. But I really care about you guys. You're not just numbers to me. You are fans just like I am, and I appreciate everything you have to say. With all that being said, let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to talk about my comic polls. It was a pretty exciting week. So, first off here, we are going to do the new... Well, it's not new right now. This is kind of a throwback from a few couple of months back or whatever. But I was wanting to get into this series, and I had already missed the beginning uh, issues. But now I talked recently about my new comic shop. And he's been really good. Comics for Collectors down in Ithaca, New York of helping me track down anything I want. This guy is amazing. So, it is by Saladin Ahmed, and the artwork is by Javier Caron. Miles Morales, number one. This is the newer series. I um, actually haven't got to read this yet, but I'm really excited to. I'm, I'm going to be catching up on some comic reading today because I'm actually behind. So, next on the list, this is new to this week. This is Avengers No Road Home by Jerry Dugan and Jim Zub. And this is issue number, excuse me, sorry, issue number eight. Two more left after this. This has been a really awesome series, and I've really enjoyed it. The artwork's been good. The storytelling gets you in right from the jump, and it's definitely been one of my favorites. Um, the next issue just came out. This is by Rob Liefeld, and Romelu Ferrado Jr. is the artist. And this is something that, I guess, Rob Liefeld has stepped away for a while, and this is his first time coming back and writing, so... Uh, this is something that has been anticipated, and I was really happy to get it. Major X, number one. This looks like it's going to be an amazing story, and it's going to be very dramatic. Um, watching the show about the creators and what they did with this, I'm really excited to check it out. Um, definitely let me know if you guys picked this up this last week. Are you excited about it? Have you read it? What do you think? Just no spoilers yet, because I haven't. <laughs> okay, and last... <laughs> But not least, War of the Realms, number one. Oh yeah, now this is the standard cover, but I actually have two variant covers as well. Um, I just didn't bust them out today, but I have the Frank Cho cover, and I also have the black and white cover. So, yes, definitely super pumped for War of the Realms. Been waiting, anticipating, and it was so cool because Wednesday, it was heaven for a geek. Avengers tickets came out comic book day. I went out shopping for new action figures. It was just like raining down. Woohoo! Um, my wife, as I had mentioned before, actually bought my Avengers Endgame, our Avengers Endgame tickets before I even woke up that morning. She had them bought, paid for, done. So we are going April 25th and I believe it's 6.30 Eastern Time. So super, super excited. I can't wait the closer we get. I'm just like, yes! Okay, the next item is Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales Spider-Man poster. I actually mentioned this on one of my other hauls I did. The bad news was when I put it up, it was a damaged poster. So I actually had to take that back and get another one when I went out the other day. 
So I will flash up a picture of this since I can't show it to you right now. It's all rolled up. You guys can tell me what you think. It's a pretty common one. It's been around quite a bit. So now to get to the big stuff. <laughs> Some of these, well, all of these, I have been waiting for a while. So let's get this box right over here. Starting us off first in their Quantum Realm suits. Oh, yeah. Rocket and Thor. I'm pretty sure if you're like me and you were following all this toy news and leak stuff and this box description everybody was going crazy about, this is the one. So, I am a big time collector of these Hasbro uh, six inch figures. I really like them. Um, I, I like the Legends as well. I'm not saying that I don't. But the thing that I like about the Hasbro ones is, for one, they're a little cheaper. For real. Secondly, though, they have more characters. You look at the Endgame Legends set, there's what, I think Cap, is it Iron Man and Ronan? I, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting right off the top of my head, but I know there's, Thanos is the builder figure, but Ebony Maw, we don't even know if it's in the movie. There's Nighthawk, there's Hercules, which, awesome characters, and Citizen V, which, very cool, and I want to get the collection, but they're not necessarily the in-game characters, so I really like, I'm one who sets up my action figures for scenes most of the time, and, you know, my last one, my Infinity War, I have the Infinity War scene. I'll probably show that sometime. And when I actually do a review for these, and I'm debating if I want to open them or not, to be honest. But I think I am and going to set up an endgame scene. So when I do the review, I'll actually do a video for the toy review, and I'm going to compare them to the Infinity War figures. So let's run through these bad boys. Um, yeah, I'll save those ones. Ronin. This was a really cool one. I actually, when I, the day they came out, I was scrambling, and both Walmarts and Target in my area didn't have them. I was literally online, looking. This is such a BA figure. I love the, this style of Ronan. This is so cool. And I'm a big comic book fan of Secret Invasion when Ronan, when Hawkeye becomes Ronan, so very cool. But anyways, I couldn't find him anywhere. I was literally putting stuff in my cart at Target online, and they were selling out before I could pay for them. So that's how crazy it was. So, then we got Captain Marvel. woo -hoo! This is my very first Captain Marvel figure. Super excited about it. I like Captain Marvel. I'm excited to have her added to the crew. As I mentioned before, my channel is about the comic aspect. That's it. And then, now this, the War Machine, I'm going to be honest. Cool, but I wish I could show you right now. This is basically the exact same figure from the last set from the Infinity War set, with the exact two weapons. He has these same two weapons, it's the same figure, the same design. That was a little disappointing, I'm going to be honest. So they have that big BA uh, Beast, uh, what do you call it, Warbuster one that's in the Titan series, and I have collected the Titan series, but I don't know if I'm going to from here out. I think I want to put my money towards other things. I'd rather collect more of the Legends. I definitely like my Hasbro I do have the all the Infinity War Titan series, um, so I may just keep it at that. I don't know. I'm going to just see how it goes. But you only have so much money to buy so much. Now, the big man, Hulk. Now, this is a really cool figure. He's got a suit on. I like that. Again, a little downside. This piece of rebar, broken bar, rock, cement thing is the same weapon that Hulk has, again, in the Infinity War series. So that was a little disappointing that they couldn't give him something different. But overall, the figure looks really good. I'm excited to see. And this definitely, I'll try to hold it up close. Um, this looks more like Professor Hulk. So I think we all are counting on Professor Hulk coming to Avengers Endgame. And I think this is just another set of proof. Okay. Now, three of my faves here left. Can't have the set without Cap. Oh, yeah, got the shield, got the suit. The only, I mean, I, I definitely want to see his new scale armor suit, and I'll get some figures if they have that. And I know they have the Titan series of that one, so we'll see. But uh, I definitely think this is a really awesome figure. I'll hold that a little closer for you guys. I have been like a little kid waiting for these figures to come out. I love this, this line. Well, I love it, but there are some things that I'm not crazy about. Okay, second to last, but my if you guys don't know, this one is my all-time favorite character out of all the comics. 
Dun, 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 dun. I am Iron Man. Woo! Got his quantum suit on. Very cool. He's got like a little energy projection blast. So that's pretty cool. Repulsor blast. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. It looks a little different. So it's definitely not the standard repulsor. But check that out. I'll get a little closer there so you guys can see. Sorry about the glare. Okay. Last and certainly not least. And there is something else I'm going to show you with this figure, but let's get to it first. The ultimate villain. My favorite villain, villain in the Marvel Universe. Thanos! Now, you can see he's got his gauntlet, which looks repaired. And he's got what's been dubbed the Infinity Sword. So this is another one that obviously when leaks of this were coming out, people were going crazy about it. Now, I'm going to show you something else I got. I want to say it may not have been 2017. It may have been early 2018. But I know when I bought this set, I actually got it on clearance well after they had been out. Was what I'm saying is about, I think, 2017. But when I bought this set, they had been out for a while. Infinity War had been out. It was actually on clearance at Walmart. This is a $30 set that I actually got for, I think, 4 bucks. Oop, sorry. Set Thanos off. It is the Thanos Iron Man Infinity War Battle Set. Now, this is the Hasbro Battle Set, okay? Now, with the Hasbro figures, the Infinity War figures, they didn't come with a Thanos figure. This was the only Thanos figure. I actually bought a knockoff um, Thanos the uh, Infinity War style without the armor and all that <laughs> overseas just so I could have one of that scale to go with my Infinity War scene. But the thing I want you to notice about this figure that came out a long time ago, he's got the Infinity Sword with two stones on it. Now there's been a lot of talk about the Avengers getting some of the stones possibly, Thanos not either having the strength or having all the stones to use them all at once. Maybe the Infinity Sword can use one or two stones. I don't know. But this is from the Infinity War line. Now, if you look at this, in comparison to the new Thanos, they're basically identical. I mean, the color of this one is a little brighter gold, but if you look at the style of the armor, it's exactly the same. So is this some kind of, look at the helmet, look at everything. It's the same. Was this a little bit of an Easter egg to what was coming in Avengers Endgame? It had to be. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that, having this older figure that's basically the same model as the new one. Does this mean there's going to be a round two of Thanos and Iron Man going at it? Pretty sure there might be. Judging by that trailer, looks like there may be not just Iron Man, but we saw that scene with Cap and Thor circling around. It looks like it could get hairy. But then with all the stuff with the headquarters, uh, it's a lot to get into. I'm not going to get into too much of that today. So... That's pretty much it for my geeky haul today, slash pull list. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about this. Do you like more videos like these? I know it ran a little long. I know I jabbered on a little bit. I'm sorry. I just love this stuff. You know, so if you guys, you know, enjoy it, watch the video. If you don't, I guess don't. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, I really enjoyed doing this one. I really enjoy, enjoyed showing you guys what I got. I'm excited for everything that's up and coming. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will let you into our giveaway. Our next giveaway prize is at 200 and will be a Winner's Choice poster. So yeah, guys, let me know if you want more of this stuff. Uh, give me feedback on the channel, the videos, what things you want to see, what things you don't want to see. I'm really trying to reconfigure this thing and do the best I possibly can to give you the best I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget my social media links. I really appreciate the social media support. So that's it, guys. For the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, Stay super, everyone. You can't stop me from collecting the Infinity Stones. Better coming from Thanos, right? All right, guys. Thanks. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.